we are, Myriad Media. Born in Ronda Drake, her fair may not have been. Peter Ronda. Woohoo! Ronda. <laughs> this is literally a figment of the imagination of the hearts of people whose hearts are after God and a dream come true to every musician. So, this is all a miraculous thing done on a ridiculously low budget that you never know. It's the most amazing studio I've been in, the most amazing feel. Everything we're about to see, the visuals, the decoration is done by Rhonda. Da, da, da. I have no idea she had to get. <laughs> There's just another example of when you have a heart for the Lord and you have a heart of excellence, this is the kind of thing that happens. So, I walk in. We went through a lot of you know us. We've gone through everything you can imagine, sleeping on floors, hobo style, just trusting the Lord to produce whatever sound is in us. And to walk in this place and see what the Lord is doing through them and what He's about to do and the sound that's about to be unleashed, whether it's Christian or not, doesn't matter. Whatever gets produced here is coming from the origin and the heart, the dream that came from the Father. So mm -hmm. check it out. So. Come this way, come this way. If you're me, turn around, turn around, turn uh -huh. around. Yeah. Go to the door, turn around, turn around, turn around. So this is just the open lobby. Hello, yes. hello. This is the open lobby. Okay, this is the open lobby. Uh -huh. This isn't even really a recording area. What? What is this for? Um, mm. It's, a, of course, a lobby. It's just a, a greeting place, but also we have it set up for rehearsals so that bands can rehearse here. We've got... Uh, um, drums and keyboards set up here, mics, speakers. So it makes a great rehearsal spot, uh, as well as a greeting area, a fellowship. Area. Maybe somebody's in there in the studio recording and trying to get your part. I mean, just a cool place to show practice. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're meeting old friends or new friends. It's a cool place to hang out. So check this out. So right up here, look at the top, look at the top. Little chairs, little touches like that just make everything so wonderful. And this is, I guess, the reception area. This is the reception area over here. This is kind of the reception area. That's reception, area. This is reception, <laughs> like reception here. Little office. Uh -huh. Over here, just kind of like a little office space with this, that, and the other. And I guess, are you really doing VCR? Are those VCR tapes? Nope. They are software. Oh, um, software. Uh -huh. or, I was going to say. Oh, me sorry. Never mind, everybody. Uh -huh. okay, cool. Now, check this out. I don't think Rhonda uh -huh. understood. But look down, mm -hmm. look at the road. Oh, the road. The road. Mm -hmm. And then the crossroad. Yes. Here. And it runs through the whole studio. Yes. But it meant a lot to me. It's one of the first things I noticed. It's how we're on a road and a crossroads a lot of times with the Lord. It may have seemed to be an accident, but I think that ties everything <laughs> and actually sets the foundation for running down the hallway from audio, visual, just what the Lord's doing in our lives. It's pretty awesome to be at a crossroads and to see dreams come true and your imagination coming out. So over here just to get make sure we just look at all the stuff that's mm -hmm. along the walls, how amazing the vision is. Rose, Mike, right? Wait, say it again. This is Warren and Rhonda, family. Mm -hmm. Look at what the Lord's doing. Little guitar, look at these little touches. Little touches. Mm -hmm. Little touches, little touches, little touches. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We don't have the, you know, we're not running right now, but the Bose towers that we've all, remember those? He's got those in here. Everything's hooked up. When it's hooked up, the sound and the mix in here is insane. The vocals sound perfect. The mix sounds perfect. It's awesome. Towers. And this, come in. <laughs> this is just when you walk in the door. So come in. Come in. Mm -hmm. Little things, little things, little things. Little things. <laughs> Pictures. On the grand opening yesterday, which I was an honor to be a part of, this is kind of a refreshment room. What is this room usually used for? That kind of thing? It is a screening room. A screening room. Where uh, if we produce, for example, this, um, we're showing the building of a 3D uh, animation piece that we did for a client. Right. Um, uh, so this would be normally set up like a uh, home theater where with, with seats and a place for us to show our clients progress on their project or the ability to show them a finished project uh, or a project for them to approve. Um, 
And when it's set up like a theater, that alcove is just a place for refreshments. It's set up with surround sound and a large monitor for us to be able to uh, just demonstrate progress on a project. Awesome. Little things, little thing. Chairs, pillows in the corner, <laughs> sconces, awesome. The color on the wall with the reflection of light, perfect. Mm -hmm. Hat and coat racks. <laughs> little things. Everything makes it awesome. This little thing over here. Look, look, look. Mm -hmm. The picture, the three mirrors, little things, little touches. Make Beautiful. It all perfect. Beautiful. Inspired. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh -huh. here we go. We're moving. This is only just the lobby of stuff and things. Mm -hmm. To get the blood pumping mm -hmm. and the inspiration going. We're going to move to the switcher room. We're going to move. Mm -hmm. Watch me. Follow right, okay, me. Okay, you got it. I was getting something. <laughs> we'll point. So walk this way. Texture the wall. What is this, Rob? Is this uh, wallpaper texture? What is this kind of? What makes this Chris, really It's the wrapping paper. You know, like tissue paper that you put into birthday gifts? What? Really? They stuck it on the wall and then you prime and it. Then and then you go over it. Uh -huh, That's awesome. Wow. Wrapping paper. Yes, tissue paper. Creativity that makes this awesome texture. It's a copper flex paint. Yeah. Kind of. So Lauren's going to tell us what this is. This is called the switcher room. Uh -huh. So let him get in front of you. Where you can perform a switcher room. A switcher <laughs> room. Uh, maybe not. And try to stay on his tongue. Uh -huh. <laughs> look, 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 wait, but wait, 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 before you toss. Turn this way. Have a nice as this. Great tones, great tones. Blue chair accent. Nice. Uh -huh. Origami. Origami. Uh -huh. Cool. Little things, little touches. Okay. Come this way, buddy. Um, uh, Shay mentioned this is the switcher room. Mm -hmm. Here we can manage multiple camera feeds, multiple video sources, mm -hmm. and switch from one to the other, whether during an edit or even live. Uh, we're connected uh, by fiber to a theater across the street, a 1500 seat theater. Mm -hmm. We can capture video and audio from there, so multi track audio, multi cam video. The floor director can sit here and make the calls to the cameraman, uh, those kinds of things. The monitors on the wall, although they're not on at the moment, are 4K monitors, so we can, instead of having to have a separate monitor for each camera, now we can position, uh, we can monitor as many as 16 cameras on one monitor, um, and then destinations on the other. We also have an edit and graphics station here in this room. And then also in this room are these machines at the bottom. They look fairly innocuous, but it is a render farm where if we're going to do 3D motion graphics or any special effects, we can render them much, much faster without having to outsource that to another render farm so that we can get, with most 3D motion, we can get very close to real time in the renders, which is, uh, which is exciting to be able to have in-house. So that's this room. Yay. The switcheroo, the switcheroo. Okay, one of my favorite parts. We're back out of the switcher room. We're about to go down the main hall. We're on the left side from this angle is the audio, and on the right side is the video. But look how beautiful this hall is. Following the road, from the cross road, following the road, all these murals that you'll see, all these paintings are gorgeous and beautiful. Beautiful hallway. On our right is the video rooms. So let's hit those first, probably. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. So. Six video suites, Warren? Total of six edit suites. Six video edit suites. And then this room, which is awesome. This is the green green room. So by standing here doing whatever one, I could be a weatherman. I could be dancing in the Alps. I could be skiing, well, pretending to be skiing. But a green screen will put you wherever you want to be. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So whatever. Um, you need to do, you can come in here, uh, change your background to whatever you want, bada bing, bada bang, pretty awesome. You can pan around, just see all the kind of equipment, the lights mm -hmm. here, speakers, done right, done right. And camera. Mm -hmm. And all these kind of dark were, you know, here after hours, but these are just, just down this hallway. You have the different video suites. You can come in and just kind of look. It's dark. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a light from here. But you can kind of take a look. So you have a video suite there, and there's several of them. So that's that. 
Let's go to the audio side. Alright. So back to the beautiful hallway. After the crossroads. Follow the road. Yep. Mm-hmm. Follow the Olympic road. Follow the road. Wait, what's over here? That's the other end of the hallway for the edit uh, suites. So this is just mm -hmm. the end of the hallway to the end of the video mm -hmm. edit suite. Mm -hmm. So bang, bada bang. Okay. So here, now we get to the wonderful part. This is all wonderful, but check this out. Oh. This is where a lot of the recording gets done, live recording and stuff. But one of my favorite parts about this room, as gorgeous as it is, is this right here. I haven't washed my hands and Warren don't like that. So. <laughs> This right here, years and years ago, is where sound, that's how we grew up together, it's how we worship the Lord together. Thank you, hey, right. that's how we worship the Lord together. This is where everything happened. So to see this in this studio really means a lot to me because the history behind this guy, it has a song that wants to be sang. There's already blood, sweat, and tears poured into it, and it's just going to sing. To see it in here means a lot to me. So. To see it in such a worthy room means even more to me. So this beautiful, gorgeous room, again, all this is around just little touches, details, little things, just to make a musician feel comfortable and warm and inspired. Here we are in this gorgeous, large room for recording. And if you wanted to do live recording for presentations, for our, or worshiping, I mean, when you want to present worship, we can record, you can record, and capture not only recording, but you can video the session here. It's all set up for video that can also be captured, which is pretty awesome and special and done right. So over here is the control room. You can see through the glass and the cable rack, Tommy would be proud. And here we go into, mm -hmm. and we also have the the rack where all of the connections are made in this room and all of those terminate in the machine room and we'll show you that a little later too. Okay. There we go. This is a room Mike will be familiar with. It's the kind of room you play guitar in or we get, you know, seclusion kind of room for vocals, guitar, whatever else. One of my favorite things is Warren will probably explain better, but you know how hard it is when you're trying to record and Tommy, Tommy, I can't hear enough. I can't hear enough. It's set up here. Everybody with one of these headsets can <laughs> use the knobs and mix their own mix without talking to anybody. You can adjust your own EQ and you can look down now at this. You can adjust your own EQ, your levels, and you don't have to bother the sound man. You can adjust your own mix and your own headset and it doesn't affect the overall mix which is awesome what else am i missing that well, then the window at a 90 degree angle but still into the control room so um this lets you see the control room and the engineer as well it's awesome yeah and we'll point to where mm -hmm. to look at cool Did we Oh, and this is a total of 6,000 square foot. 6,000 square feet. With two studio, studio A and B, audio and visual. Okay. We go out to the crossroads again. And not that it's that critical, but yeah. this, where we just came from, right. is Studio A. Yeah. But it's also known as... <laughs> yeah, this is a band. <laughs> the band cave. Oh, and in the heart of details, did you catch all the little <laughs> lampposts? So if you look on the sides over here, this is the main hall with the lampposts and the park benches. All right along the street. Run right along yeah. the street, which is pretty awesome. Very nice. And the lighting, mm -hmm. we haven't looked at, but the lighting is all Edison bulbs um, that look like, we wanted it to look like a, a starry so, night. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. And they are dimmable. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, now, the magic of the control room. There we go. This is the control room. So, this is where everything gets mixed, everything gets tracked, 
and where the captain sits in the captain chair and does his magic with this beautiful curved screen. Awesome. I don't even know what kind of board this is. <laughs> Made by Avid. Avid, a nice it okay. a System Avid, awesome. 5MC. System 5MC. And uh, basically your uh, dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm. Okay, but like, so here's the room we were just in over here. It's an awesome live type room. Over here is the room we were in, the isolation booth. Now, in a control room, when you're sitting here mixing, things can get stressful. Ooh, and we know that. I think Warren might even have yelled once. But, <laughs> <laughs> but as you're doing this, it's important to listen and to be at peace. So mm -hmm. turn around, look at the control room, what Rhonda has set up for those. Then it's time to mix. Ta da! Okay. You have fireplace, details, guitar, little things, little tiny little accents that just make it the uh, note, everything, the, the clap beat. It's just gorgeous, relaxing, chill, and even magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Magazines when you're mixing. But um, such a cozy, wonderful, amazing place to be in when you're trying to make music, mix, and you're stressed, you're tired. And um, this is the kind of place that'll give you the stamina to do it. Especially when you're improv and dealing with people like Warren and Rhonda. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Room. Yes, yes, yes. Machine room, you, you take the way. Machine room. This is where all of the connections from all of the other rooms, Studio A, Studio B, uh, the isolation room, as well as the... Uh, switcher room and all of the edit suites, all of them terminate in this this closet. Uh, basically, each of these conduits at the top of the wall come from one of the other rooms. The wiring comes in, it's into this punch block, and from the punch block, uh, we come to the uh, um, uh, to the patch base where we have audio and video patch base. <coughs> Pardon me, time code generator so that we can synchronize audio and video. Uh, and we synchronize it based on GPS clocks, so it's uh, and it's frame accurate, so we can easily have audio and video chase one another. Um, some of the mic pre's, uh, the the house mic pre's, and the the Mac that records it. So this is this is uh, in most studios, it's called a machine room where there's usually a tape machine, but there's no more <laughs> tape anymore. So, um, but it's still typically called a machine room. So that's this room. Okay. Awesome. Alright, so that's the control room. Mm -hmm. On to the next. Mm -hmm. And this rack. You didn't. Oh, this rack here? What's wrong? What's up with this rack? <laughs> this rack is. Do you look at the rack of mm -hmm. this stuff? Mm -hmm. um, houses all of the boutique mic pre's. Um, some of the, the mic pre-amplifiers pre that we saw in the machine room are all solid state. Uh, here we've got um, some solid state, some tube mic pre's, but we also have um, some interesting things. This this Universal Audio tube mic pre also has solid state and you can blend the two sounds. So it's nice. a really unique approach to uh, getting some really sweet sounds out of some microphones. So all of our boutique mic pre's are in this rack. Now, in, in addition, this rack is also on casters and is movable. So this this rack, if it slid out of the way, you could then look at, we can set cameras here, look at the producer's platform where you saw the couches and the fireplace, right. and it becomes a video set. So <laughs> it's sort of a multi-purpose, and just in case you need it here, you can get Woo! more cash, more, more, more <laughs> You always need more, more cash. <laughs> I should have worn my shirt. I have one on my cowbell. Oh, oh my that's gosh. cool. <laughs> we love it. Okay, um, more yet to come. All right. Again, do not miss the details. <laughs> the, the gift in Rhonda. It's really special. Uh, look at this here. This is cool. I love this guy here. Mm, yeah. And there's the band cave, of course. Mm -hmm. But then look at the light up here. Awesome light picture up here. And then little things like, you know, old school phone. You know? Nah. And it even doesn't work. <laughs> but very cool. 
little touches. I yes. love, you know, the coat racks here and there for hats. Are these your hats, Rhonda? The little hats you're putting uh -huh. there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cool photograph hats. that I think you said works, but we're not sure how it works. Exactly. I don't know how to make it work, but I've yeah. seen it work. Yeah. It That's actually will awesome. play those old Edison drums, and we have about five or six of those oh, drum yeah, records. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. We actually have things to play on it. We just have to figure out how to play it. So, pretty cool. That's a cool find. So, the antique store here in Franklin. Um, at an estate sale. Right? Oh, really? Oh. Awesome. Okay, so here, uh, this is a cafeteria type room. Yeah, lunch room, a break area. Kind of thing. There's the restroom here. Details. Details. Beautiful, nice knickknacks, cool things. Mints. I have one. <laughs> Uh, so this is the break room. No break room is equipped mm -hmm. without a proper payphone and a jukebox. Mm -hmm. So is this functional? Um, it, actually, we've got a repair to do to it, but it is an authentic vintage um, jukebox with populated with period correct 45s. <laughs> so awesome. Ray Charles so and Elvis and Cornettes and the yeah. Everly Brothers. Well, All of those. Elvis, look at his. He have in there? Uh, I think we do have yeah, one yeah. Elvis forty-five in there. Oh, Franklin Floor, Bill yeah. Benton, the Diamonds. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and actually, we can we can open it up and see. It's a it is a vintage forty-five, oh. so it's not even the newer CD. It is a true it's old school. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. So um, we just got right now the the mechanism that picks up the forty-five and lays it on the platter is not working, so we have gotcha. to get that repaired. So that, mm -hmm. That's awesome. It is. Popcorn machine. Of course. A must have. Mm -hmm. A must have. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right, over here we have our proper plastic fork dispensary, plastic wear dispensary. And then in here, what is this? Just another sweet one? or? Yeah, it's a small studio. Um, Jeff Lawrence is a it's voiceover awesome, artist who is very well known in his craft. He does a lot of voiceover uh, for, for example, if you were to watch Nutrisystem ads after Marie Osmond speaks, Jeff is the voice that comes on and says, dial 1-800-Nutrisystem. Uh, mm -hmm. He also does Colonial Pen Life Insurance, so after Alex Trebek speaks, He's the one who comes on and says, are you age 50 to 80? You know, so yeah. <laughs> that's the guy. It's hard to see the doors locked right now, okay. but uh, that's, that's that studio, mm -hmm. which is cool. And Here's, we, we wanted to, to uh, put a lot of the greatest touches here, but uh, it seemed to be a real bust. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real bust. Bump, bump. Yeah, I love this, where's the drummer when you need <laughs> right? I love this vintage uh, camera knickknack. That's pretty cool. Um, so I love this little thing. It's like um, one of the things I like the most, actually. Not the the mic most, locker. But, which is cool. A mic storage area that even decided to do that in style. Check that out. Ooh. Smells delicious. <sighs> like delicious wood. Real cedar. Cedar, yeah. Nice. Just a nice way to display... And when the door is shut, you walk by, and even though it's secure, you still can appreciate and enjoy the mic locker. All right, we're getting close to the end, but this is not back there. If you want it on, Rhonda. Oh, this guy here. Okay, so here we are at the end of the studio. Really beautiful. The dressing room area, because every studio needs a dressing room. Especially if you're a video studio as well. It's hard to see, but one of the first things I loved and caught, shofar lamp. Gotta have that. This is pretty cool. It doesn't light up as we need to for, figure out how well, Eventually it will, but yeah. shofar it doesn't. Shofar. Shofar, shofar is so good, does. yeah. All right, so catch the details of this mm -hmm. gorgeous wall. And sip up for a second. Let me catch uh -huh. that. So, and then just all the little details. It's very cozy and wonderful. And then you come back to the actual dressing room, which is filled with little tiny details. It's awesome. So pan around mm -hmm. from here to the picture, and then pan slowly around. I'll get out of your way. Mm -hmm. And then we'll... Three makeup stations. Let me get out of your way. <laughs> Adequately lit for the ladies who need 
point two apply maker. Yeah. Did you say three maker? Yeah, three makers. Yeah, three vanities. Yeah, yeah. I love the music notes, Amazing Grace on the wall. Again, more cat coat racks and hat hooks. Yes. And, and you know, the cool thing about this shade is I would just buy like a couple of pictures. I would buy a lamp, but I wouldn't know why I was buying it. I would pick up a rug at Goodwill or Burke's Outlet or Big Lots, and I would just like hold on to it. And this has been like going on for like a year and a half, mm -hmm. and I would just, I'd walk in this place and I'd see like a nail hanging. I'd go, oh, I think I'll hang this picture. Oh right here and it's just like it just came together i would buy things and i would think why am i buying this <laughs> i've never done this before never decorated never what? attempted what? this in my life can you believe so, that never decorated what? and if you saw my house you would yeah. think yep uh, she's never done this so this is definitely a really supernatural kind of really cool this is a dream thing kind of out of my control because i've never done this before stunning. ever i actually <laughs> watch the shows and love the interior design so this dwarfs a lot of people that I thought were great and great then my final touch story. I had a hole in the ceiling here and I thought <laughs> yeah, what am I gonna do with this hole okay. and I found a chandelier type little thing at Goodwill and I thought I know I want that up there somewhere so you Maybe. had a hole I had a hole what do I do with this freaking what hole? I do with this hole and we've decided to put umbrellas like singing in the rain and, so uh, so it's just kind of been a Collaboration. So it's what we do in the Lord and with the worship, yep. having a dressing room, we re robe and it's the singing in the rain room. That's pretty fitting and awesome. <laughs> From someone who doesn't know better other than to follow her heart and her never, instincts. Ever. Yes. And then you end up with something this amazing, and that's pretty awesome. So this is the end of the studio, but there's one last thing to show, which just gives it an amazing icing on the cake touch. When you're a geek like him or me and understanding summer and winter solstice stuff sunset check out what the back of the studio has to offer we'll have to come back later for that <laughs> this is the exit <laughs> <laughs> and that was conceptualized by no one <laughs> Yeah. This is looking due west, <laughs> so the sunset is just amazing here all year round because looking due west we of course catch it at the sunset at the equinox but slightly left of that is the winter solstice and to the right is the summer solstice so the the uh, sunsets are just beautiful overlooking the mountains so in addition to this being a a great studio just the mountains themselves are a destination mm -hmm. so it's a great place to come and even when you take pictures here all you have to do is crop out lows on the bottom of it <laughs> <laughs> so that's, All right, so that's it. Let's walk back to the front. Is that like back to the future? Back to <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, we're going back to the future. So let's take the road, the crossroad back to the front. Pass the street bank, pass the park benches, and the crossroad. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. As a musician, it's inspiring, it's relaxing. If you've ever been a musician in the studio, it can be stressful. You're trying to meet deadlines, you're trying to just get things done. It gets stressful. This is a place where you can get it done, be inspired, be relaxed, and do what needs to be done. This is amazing. This is a God thing, it's awesome. And if you're a musician and you have a major way here, then shame on you. But Myriad Media, pretty awesome. <laughs>